Hey, 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 welcome back, folks. How y'all doing uh, tonight? Yeah, it, yeah, it's almost midnight, folks. Been doing some cultivating, been doing some, uh, a little bit of everything. Here, let me show you real quick. I know we don't want to start out the episode like this, but, folks, uh, let's see here. This is almost ready for harvest. I doubt it be this year, but we'll have to wait and see we pretty much ain't done nothing to our farm we've just been doing contracts look here at all these contracts that's one page right there then we got one two three four five six five more contracts besides that so almost <gasps> field nine wheat we're accepting that baby 172 thousand I'm glad I looked Wow. All right, let's, let's get in here and collect the rest of these real quick, folks, because we need some money. We're down to 319,000. That's right, folks, 319,000. We gotta, we gotta bring that back up. So y'all watch and I'm just gonna collect them, okay? Here we go. As you can see, some of them ain't very much, but then others are. We got to do what we got to do, right? All right. Sewing that in there is not going to be very hard. And uh, this in here is for 15000 We'll accept that and also... Um, yeah, that looks about like it. Now our money is 782,886. That's looking better. That's folks. Yeah. I, I see what midnight brings, shall we? We're going to wake up about 7 o'clock, I think. Right, let's get a good view here. How, how about that right there? Come on. Uh, oh, I don't have that on. Let's see here. Let's go in here real quick. Let's go to that that on and that on and then push zero again oh well, yeah I won't be able to see the thing at night here I'll take the F1 off there we go alright here we're going we're going to wake up at 7 o'clock so here we go sleeping 191 vehicle running costs 183 property maintenance and $190 property income well, we almost got the running costs paid for. I like the dollar from having it paid for. That's cool. Oh, I forgot I got my flight mode on. Let's turn that off real quick. I get the golden colors, folks. It's, it, you can tell it's you know, getting winter time around here and stuff. We're mid-autumn. Let's go in here. Cows are looking pretty decent. Still kind of decent. We're going to have to do some TLC pretty soon on them, but not today. Folks, as you can see, today and Saturday, last part of Saturday, we're going to be, actually, no, it's about 9 a.m. Saturday. So, um, we're going to get busy. As you can see, we have today, we have three days, and then it'll be winter. Okay, I'm trying to think what all we can we can plant oil seed radishes now, but I don't want to do all that. We can plant little like canola, wheat, and barley. Okay. All right. Um. Be right back in a second, folks. We're gonna to get to the market shop and we're gonna buy us a toy today. Be right back. All right, everybody. We're up here at the shop and it's it's, it's been about four or five hours since uh in real life so uh here we go i i knew this was going to be big but when he said it's going to be big he wasn't kidding how am i going to get this thing out of here anyway 
we're gonna go in and we are going to get the machine that goes to this and it never fails I start recording the train comes anyway folks anyway we're going in forge harvesters tell you what let me pause this for a second I'll be right back but anyway folks now back to the game we had that and last time it didn't work too well so this time we're going to go I wanted to go with this in the big X series hmm but that one starts out at 1156 horsepower that one starts out at 687 uh, this one I can't load as you can see that little thing going around and around and around uh, it won't pop up a little picture so uh we're going to back out. We're going to go to big X1180, which that is the biggest one anyway. So, now as you can see here, we can't change the motor. So, it's just the tires, which I'm going to go with lizards. That's either lizards or. I don't like the beak and then the dual wheels. I, I just never liked that. Let's go to my. It's, and then uh, there's the big wheel. No, no duels, just big wheels. And Mich Michelin, almost say Michigan. And yet the duels are a little on the outside. I just don't get that. So we are going to go with the tracks. And you, you actually got you got the 18, the 27.5. 31.5 then you get the 35.5 so we're gonna go with them we do want a GPS we do want the biggest pipe so yeah and that's what we're looking like it's five hundred and fifty five thousand four hundred dollars folks it better be worth it because we're buying it no leasing no leasing we're just we're buying it folks um trying to think it, it, it's not in here I don't think we have to go to this and no 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 it's not in that either that's our headers and let me show you the headers real quick it's gonna be kind of fast we went all the way over to the end which is a lot of them 18 miles per hour 25 meters sixteen hundred dollars for work now it's really cheap but hey it's it's a mod i was wanting to try it but i want to uh oh went out too far let's go in the trailers maybe it's in the trailers or is it in the auger wagons let's go to auger wagons probably shouldn't be got some cool augers in here though Oh, there it is. There's our baby right there. 53,000. Covers all that dirt. The uh, blip dirt. I was looking at dirt at the far end back there. Yeah, 65,000 liters. We're going to buy it. Okay, we're all set up. Now, hello. Oh, you're sitting on top of her. Oh, both of y'all are. All right, this 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 is not going to be realistic at all. Dagrin's probably like, oh my goodness. All right, folks, let me get these put together and I'll be right back. All right, I don't know why you can do it, but you can rotate this back box to one side to the other. I guess so you can control your dumping, I guess. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Let's see, I bought harvester. Oh, cab's raising up. Okay, I got the cab that can go down and up. That's good. I got turn on harvester. Oh, pipe out. That's what I want. There we go. Pipes out. Perfecto. All right, we're going to lower the header. But we're going to turn it on. Okay, the, the thing's off a little bit, but it, it, it's it's working. 
let's go in here and take a look at our grass real quick the growth of it oh I got, got to turn the grass on and there you go it's not the orange yet but it's pretty close folks we got this field we got 14 13 and 2 and then we got our field 60 and and we got all these little nignags right in here and we probably could get the pasture a little bit too there goes my phone but yeah we're going to be uh harvesting some uh grass but first i want to go through here folks we still got two active sowing wheat and wheat oh yeah i already finalized these didn't i and uh, i want to set these fertilizing ones real quick while we're in here um i need to check field 27 also that's all we got okay good um let's look at field 27 one last time and it's still green so we don't have to worry about that okay so i was worrying about actually i will fertilize this field 27 it needs lime badly okay if you use one more stage of fertilization uh, I can use two way it looks. Anyway, our goal today is this thing, so let's get busy. Oh wow, look at the path it can handle there, folks. The head's going to sink into the ground because how big it is. I was wanting one that's a little bit bigger, but this is uh, like ridiculous. Okay. We're gonna turn around here, see how we can turn around. Whoa, we, so we can turn sharp, okay. And one thing about it, this guy can handle a lot of grass. And then we can even get that out of our fence there. Yeah, that's real, totally re unrealistic, folks. I am so sorry about that, but man, it is what it is, right? DJ Goham can do crazy stuff, so can I. Yeah, that help us on our grass. But I'm going to get down here. I did do the GPS on this thing. So we're going to do that real quick. Control S. And hang on. I, I done forgot which way these. So we'll be running east and west. And I'll show you how I can figure that out here real quick. And I like to come in here and do it a couple times like that. I don't know why. It seems like I can just go click on this as soon as I go in and come out it won't do it for some reason it might be just me uh, I don't know uh, it's just one of those things but anyway go back in down here you can see the top of the map is always north this is always north and south so we'll be running this way it'll be east and west that's how I get my direction to travel from that Now, the question is, we're going to have to redo our GPS line because we are, I want to keep it in the trees just a little bit. So I'm going to alt, then page up, page, no, no, it's not page up. It's alt, home button, and page up. I usually hit it twice, lock my GPS, and then lock my speed. Why are we not thrown into the thing? Are we already full? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't be full yet. 65,000 liters. All right, folks, we're going to hit Alt. And, and this is where it gets cheaty. You can also hit Alt and J, which I don't see it on there, so... Okay, I'm not on a tipper there. All right, now you can see it at the bottom. Right above my name, it says Tommy. And it's compass the 65,000 grass wind road. We're going to hit Alt and J. And we're going to go ahead and change that to capacity T. 
10 which is 650,000 liters there you go I guess this has a capacity too because you just seen some of that go in right so I ain't no tell oh okay we'll have to come back and get some of that well at least it crossed it better than what it did with the old one All right. Now I am going to use. Oh, I guess it would help if I turn my GPS back on. I was wondering why it's going sideways there for a second. But what we're going to do is one slow down for this thing here. This one it didn't want to cross last time. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. See. I'm gonna go to the trailer. Um, right? Nope. Wrong one. Um. Oh, I meant to left. The right's where I'm on now. You can do that, and it does help when you do that. Kind of helps out a little bit. Not much, but it does help some. It's just I can't train edit that close to the woods it's pretty much out there with a header end of that header out that way as far as I can get so we'll get some flatter ground here and there but yeah um, this is a mod I got from somewhere the the header and the other machine that wouldn't show up on the screen I got it and this header from somewhere uh, it wasn't an original mod hub. It was uh, one of those off sites, which I would really prefer having antivirus when you go to those. Which I did do it with the new computer. I got like maybe a day or two left, and I'm out of antivirus. They want like ninety something dollars for a year, and I'm like, can I buy it by the month? And they do not give me an option to buy it by the month so yeah I'm like well I can't get it so I'm just going to, like my old computer I done without antivirus for two or three years on my old computer I was just careful where I went to and stuff like that oh I went right between those that was lucky all right we're going to do across this end and this probably going to be a short video or might not be a short video it might be a like a short scene I, I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say I probably won't show everything um, as far as that I'm doing you know I'm fixing to do this whole field so I'm gonna bring you back when this thing gets full and hopefully I have a couple of trucks um, I'm trying to do around the headlands first and see how far it will get me so yeah I'm just trying to do stuff like that so I'm gonna mow around all these buildings and then uh, see how far I can get trying to keep it a little realistic <laughs> not much like, like this right here this is gonna be where it cringes everybody out Woo! look at here I can mow in between Just imagine, folks, if you could mow like that and something like that did happen. Wouldn't that be something? One, I would love it because you could reach over fences without having to jump across the fence to mow. That would be the awesome part of it. Oh, shut up, phone. Folks, I, I am so rude. I keep forgetting. How are y'all doing? I, I put, should ask that in the beginning of the episode, but... I get into this and I'm like, ooh, I need to do this, I need to do that. It's getting hot in here because my AC is off. Folks, that's how much I love y'all. I am sitting here recording in about an 80 degree room with the AC off so y'all can hear me. <laughs> no, don't don't feel bad now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it because I want to. Okay, I'm about almost halfway. I should have got it over and got most of that I could. No, I still, oh, yeah, I almost did, except the corner. All right, folks, y'all see what it does. I want to get around 
square this off, see if I can hire a worker with this thing. It says I can. If that's the case, I can manage the trucks while this thing's going town. So yeah, I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Yeah, as you can see there, folks, the, the hopper, <clears throat> excuse me, the hopper on the uh, machine itself holds quite a bit. Yeah, I'm trying to do a auto drive thing. I went just a little bit too far. I'm going to have to back up some. I'm um, trying to figure out how to do that. I need to stop recording for one. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to do this whole thing over after he gets full. So I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I, I, I got the offload mark back here from that, and now we're going to drive it to our first uh, unload point, which is going to be right down here. And, and basically what you do, you just hit the record button, which is a circle with the arrow underneath it over there, and and you uh, pull up maybe two dots and then you know you gotta give yourself enough room to pull up two dots and then you can hit the little the third little symbol there you know you got the record button then you got like a save button and then the little teardrop that's your marker location that's what makes the uh, course works pretty much is your marker it would be like southeast grassland offload. It's where you offload the hopper back here. And then I got trailers in the way. No. Just like right here, I got farm shop south side marker. If you finish that course there, you uh, could drive to it. But I really don't know how I need to do this. Um, I guess I need to go all the way around. Square, I mean, uh, square. Yeah, they're square. More rectangle. Uh, straw bells. I'm just going to go in like this. And what I got to do is just make a complete circle. And hopefully that. Okay, I got the symbol for that, so I'm going to pull up this a little bit more. And now I'm going to put a marker down, which hit the middle mouse button. It brings your cursor up, and then you hit this here. And it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put south farm silo. Uh, we'll put offload again. There we go. And then I'm just gonna drive. Always remember to hit your mouse button. I'm just gonna circle around like this and drive. We could have this one route here. Which, you know, I could join those lines right there, then come down here, start recording again, but that would be a little bit more complex. I just want to keep it simple so y'all can kind of see how. But this ain't a how to video, it's just, um, yeah, I still get some lag spots on this map. Just on this map, though. And I'm kind of all over the road, that's when you can tell that I'm driving that. <laughs> Uh, tactical gamers like I could tell that was you driving that one on a Sunoco and, and he's he's right <laughs> when it's all over the road it's me unless I record the map that way and then it could be a AI worker but anyway come back in here you get almost lined up with these but you don't have to be you can stop anywhere in there I like get another another point don't guess it's going to make one 
So I'm going to stop right here on the recording and just hit that. And I don't see these two together, so I'm going to go here and to here. And there you see the arrow pointing that way. So that route is connected. So now we can set this up. Go in here and do a little setting up. You want to uh, change this symbol right here. And you can see the load will be, we got to change that to Southeast Grassland Off-Road, Off-Road. I want to go off road and this one here will be um, South Farm Silo off road I almost forgot what I made it and we are doing grass so grass at the top all right and that's all you gotta do let's uh, close this out here gets rid of the lines and we're just going to hit the power button and let's watch and see where he goes drives kind of fast it's actually slowing down um, what are you doing maybe I should put the silo there because that's where he's going Okay, something must be blocking them. Let's uh, hit the power button. Start it up ourselves. And hit the mouse button so we can just go ahead and put skip a little line like here because we know that's the line. Now we're going to hit the power button. And I gotta get some more trucks down here. Cause I got it and I need to back up there to unload. I was planning on having like three or four different trucks there. Whoa, yeah, yeah. See, I made that route. You can tell that by where it was. Uh see. Uh that's alright. I just I, I need a, another truck. This one's got that in it. Uh, okay, I might get one here a minute off screen. Good Lord, slow down. I'm turning the speed down myself over here. Whereas well, it don't look like... Which they go usually pretty good on their own. This is acting a little bit different than Sonovka. I think that these things are in the way. I can't pick that up. Let's... Now you stop for this. You might be concerned. There he goes. And this thing moved on its own too. It was over here. Right, I see if he'll stop on his own. I want to get my drone going here. Oh, okay, he made it good. Is he going to unload? That's the question. 130,000 liters of grass, folks. And the, uh, the cargo thing still. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Good. Let's go in here and check real quick and see how much we got in the silo. Um, grass. We got 249 tons of silage, which can be 245 total. 166 and we can hold 579. There he goes. All right, let me get another truck up there, and uh, I'll be right back, folks. All right, this is the third truck. Uh, 
and this is the one I got from the shop over there and uh, this thing still let's see how much this thing's got jeez oh man this will be the third load and I'm just now not even quite halfway but I, I did I mowed a lot with this thing I went from the farm shop all the way around to about about across that white tank right there across the head of the machine across the building there yeah on the other side wow I, I, I need to find some way where the trucks can come out in the field but I'm not that smart on this yet but I like how it gives the uh, the things there and still 62 percent and coming down and the trucks getting a little about 45% loaded. Should be another truck coming here back. Let's see. Let's get rid of F1. We got the round baler. Oh! Oh, that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. I forgot, folks. We were supposed to sell bales today, too. It's already... I got... About 30 something minutes in. Yeah, I forgot. Well, this is the last of the bales. This truck needs fuel. I'll we'll start filling him up. Uh, we'll do this in the next episode. And by the way, I'm re probably going to release these on the weekends. Maybe, if I, I, I can keep ahead. Uh, three hundred dollar fuel cost. Whoo! Yeah, I gotta get my truck back to shop too. It's still sitting on the road. Okay, something's not quite working out right here. This guy should have uh, oh, not stopped. At least, oh, he's not unloaded all the way. Okay, 193, it's almost two. I, I think the silo's full. I wish it had a way of telling. Let's see, can I tell here? 500,000. It had some in it. This tells me 500,000. I, I think it's full. We're, we're going to have to take this to uh, the other farm. So, folks, I'll get something shorted out here. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a headache. I'm going to shut that off so we can start the truck. It looks empty, but it's not, folks. Uh, as you can see down there, grass, or even up there, it's 45% still full. It's because they hold 130,000 liters. I need to... Oh, 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 oh. I, I got to turn around here. Me driving past monorecks on these days. I'm bringing this down here to our ration mixer uh, to make TMR. Uh, I forgot I could fill this thing up. If I can back into it, right? Oh, goodness gracious. Come on. Where's the trigger? Is there a trigger on this thing? Grass is not accepted here. What? Grass is too accepted. Oh, no, 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 no. It's hay. I'm just messed up everywhere I turn around. Yeah, this is a little 
ration thing here. Output's full. We need this in our cow, so get it going so I can be making some more. All right, folks. Um, yeah, I got to go to the the north end. We might end up putting a silo up. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, that's that's our problem that we got right there. Everything's filling up. There we go. Screenshot, baby. Screenshot. All right, folks. I'm sorry this is a long one. But, it's, hey, it's, we're going to continue this in the next episode, getting all this figured out and stuff. And, yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all check out the links down below with the other YouTubers. Also, my links, uh, PayPal, Cash App, my... Uh, da, 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 da. G gmail account and, and stuff like that folks my mailing address all that's down there uh the link to my light my can crusher all that's down there too but folks i love each and every one of y'all y'all have a great day a blessed day i will see y'all later bye